Wow, we are making a lot of videos today. Wow. Yes, crazies. But it's all for good, so then you guys can go and take a look at this video. Yes. Seriously. Uh, awesome. This is number maybe. Good? Yeah. All right. For this problem, what we're going to do is we need to solve for our variable. But before we solve for our variable, remember we need to simplify. Right? And the way we need to simplify is we need to get rid of these parentheses. So what we do is we use our distributive property. We multiply whatever's outside our parentheses to everything that's inside of the parentheses. So therefore, we have negative 243 equals a negative 90 plus 9x. All right? Then I'm going to add. 90 for both sides. Yes? What did negative 9 times positive x be minus 9x? Yes, it would be a positive minus 9x. Thank you. Minus 9x. Okay. okay? Then we're going to say. Um, this becomes negative 243 plus 90 is a negative 153 equals a negative 9x. Right? Mm -hmm. Now we need to determine, now we need to undo what's happened to our variable, which is multiplied by negative 9, so we need to divide by negative 9. Crap. This is a lot, of, it's a lot of extra stuff, isn't it? Oh crap, right? <laughs> so if we don't have a calculator on us, there's a couple ways we could do this. One way you can do the old method. You do long division, 9 goes into uh, 15 one time, 1 times 89 is going to give you, actually this is to the positive, let's make it easier. 9 is going to give you 9, down there is 63, 9 goes into 63, 6, 7 times. Another way you can look at it is, um, I don't want to confuse you guys, let's just keep with this. So you can just go and solve it, use long division, there is a couple ways in your head, but I'm not going to worry about it. So therefore, a negative divided by negative gives you a positive. So x equals 17. All right?